KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. Welcome to the PIC Pool. While nestled in the water park of one of Tumon's most popular resorts, on this day, it's training ground. And these young athletes are here to work. Guam boasts a proud history of competitive swimming going back more than four decades. And the amphibious aquatics program is keeping that legacy alive with complete athletic training for young athletes hungry to compete for our island. Swimming is, has been, um, you know, in our history, one of the most winningest sports. Um, you know, whenever we go off island and compete, we, we come back with hardware, we come back with medals. And, and it's, it goes to show that, you know, we have a really good program here as long as we have the support from the community. The framework is helmed by two decorated veterans of the Guam swimming community, Andy Lee and Chris Duenas. They're passing down their experience to a new generation of those just hitting the pool, as well as a deep desire to keep the sport strong. Uh, community partners like PIC, um, private you know, schools like St. John's that, that basically said, you know, we would allow you to train in these facilities. So it, it's been a community effort and we're so grateful for those people. You know, we have this whole program um, is, is possible because of the, the governor's child care grant. So this program is funded by that and we're allowed, we're basically able to, to train over 60 kids, you know, from basic beginner learn to swim to elite level competition um, to become international competitors. Coach Andy, a Marine Corps veteran and Guam Fire Department rescue swimmer, says Amphibious Aquatics' recent dominance showing at a swim meet in the Philippines paid dividends that were equally immediate and impressive. Uh, they, they all did great. Everybody, in some way, form or another, had a personal best, right, in their, in their event. Everybody improved. Um, overall, we've had, like I said, over 73 medals to include the, the overall team second place um, high point award. They were definitely impressed with the caliber. Uh, they're, they're very competitive out there. The uh, Swim League Philippines, who actually hosted us and invited us out there, um, invited us once pe before, last year in October. And at that time, we only brought about four swimmers. Um, this time, we went with 18. But the total team victory, he credits, is the direct result of the deep investment by community partners and parental involvement. Develop a, a relationship with community partners like Ina Wellness, um, the Bridge Fitness, PIC, PIC Guam, uh, Fast Care, Buckeye Industries, who provided uh, basically a, a headquarters facility for these kids to take their uh, educational courses, um, any briefings that we may need to have. Basically all the parents, all the parents really coming together to, to make this community stronger. Also guiding the team with his mentorship is Coach Chris a two-time Olympian and Guam record holder who represented Guam in the Beijing and London Summer Games. So with all the experience that I have with the Olympics, uh, world champs, and, and micro meets um, throughout the Pacific, what I really honed in on uh, in teaching these kids, and, and my son's on here as well, is, is really mentally preparing themselves for the, the event itself. And being at the event, uh, that's an opportunity that we, we lost here on Guam. In line with the organization's core principles of confidence, conditioning and skill. Coach Chris emphasizes the need for mental toughness as well. The mental toughness is another big thing for us too. So getting these guys, getting these kids here really prepared for moving up in the ranks um, to a different age group. He likewise stresses the value of cross training with other sports too. Coach Andy and I took a great course uh, give, put up by a GNOC of uh, the different sports that an athlete should take in development and, and being that they learn the coordination. So one, one way in learning coordination would be something like tennis or uh, I think soccer was one of them as well. And, um, and then swimming to get the cardio and uh, athleticism and the, and the endurance that they need to swim. So putting them in different sports um, but really honing in on the swimming is, is what we try to do. And also building on the notion that in sports, success breeds success. Coach Andy says, for the swim program, this is just the beginning. Once given an opportunity to compete, they excel. They do very well. And we're an island surrounded by water, you know, and, and swimming should be definitely uh, 
one of our priorities, you know, for, for uh, sports and law. KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together.